I must not come out the ladder. I must not come out the ladder. No, no. Welcome back to another video, guys. Let me show you a clip of what this video is going to be about. Foreshadow. The whole day studying, not really the whole day, maybe the past two hours about um, lactation. I've been doing TikToks on the side too, right here. Kind of going crazy. I don't know how people do it. Just staying inside for the whole quarantine. But I'll just go outside just for some fresh air uh, right now. Right now. Going to the grocery store. Going to the grocery store. Guess what came in today? My graduation gown. I didn't think that it would come. If I knew, I would have gone to Gillette Stadium around this week, not two weeks ago, so I can walk in this gown. Regrets, regrets, regrets. Blood. So let's make some macaroons. Macarons! So let's make some macarons. On guard! <laughs> now we sip. In the meantime, let's go plant some gardens. I mean plants. Let's plant some plants. Okay, what's the, what is it? Okay. And then I'll put this. Wait, what? Legit her first time riding a bike. That doesn't make sense to me. How is she able to ride a bike this quickly? <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but I think the lighting of the room really dictates the mood of the room. That's why I have so many lights. I have this Apple TV set up right here. The coolest thing about Apple TV is that there's these screensavers and I usually just have it on playing of whatever screensaver they have just to kind of just improve the mood of the room. It makes me feel like I'm not in my room. It makes me feel like I'm in whatever place or city the Apple TV is presenting me with. And I don't know, for some reason that improves my productivity. It just puts me in a better mood basically. So there's this one. Pretty cool, right? It's a skyline mixed with like a park, trees, and the water, like the three elements. There's this one, bird's eye view. Also really cool. A picture of the globe when it's dark. This is awesome, honestly. Globe. This one I think is pretty creepy, but uh, yeah, it's, it's impressive that they're able to get this. Ah, this must be what heaven looks like. I've always enjoyed LA. I always want. I want to live there one day, and it's just a cool place to vacation at. So yeah, just in general, they just have really nice screensavers. But I want to show you guys something really cool. Cool transition, right? Oh, I feel so confident in this outfit. So school's out. A lot of time to self-reflect on ourselves. So to all the students watching, this one's for you. To all of you. Doesn't matter how young or old, if you're a middle school, elementary school, senior citizen, we're all students at one point in our lives. We're all learning. And if you're not learning, you're doing something wrong. So I won't talk about the technicalities of studying or how to study because everyone studies in a different way. Hard work is important, but you gotta be able to have downtime. Have some fun, open yourself up. Take advantage of every single opportunity that college or any place has given you to make new connections. Make those connections. Don't close yourself off just because a certain person does a certain thing or believes a certain way or hangs out with a certain group of people. Be open to things. It's always good to see things from another's perspective and not be closed off. Time does not equal quality. The amount of effort and work you put into that time is what equals the quality. People learn at different rates. What works for you may not work for someone else. What works for someone else may not work for you. So whichever major or degree you're working towards, make sure you choose the one where you're willing to put in the effort and work and time. It doesn't make sense if you're not willing to do that. Create those memories. Because even outside of school, you can still learn socially, emotionally. You don't have to learn everything in the classroom. College is an experience. Life is an experience. You can learn from anything. If you're really stressed about an exam, assignments, about deadlines, release the stress. 
Releasing stress makes you more productive, makes you more effective in your studies, even though it may be counterintuitive. Appreciate the time that you have. Now, it may seem like it's a long time, but time flies by. The four, six, seven years that you have in school or whatever, it's gonna fly by. Then you're gonna look back at it, and I guarantee you that you're gonna miss those times. Just take a moment to just appreciate everything. Yep, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, new video every Friday. And this next one is going to be a good one. I'm going to be hitting a kind of a deep subject. Subscribe so you can get notified when that is uploaded. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully I'm not hopping myself too much. All right, peace out. Why your head down? Gotta keep your head up. Hustle the motive, don't you ever fucking let up. Gotta go hard like you motherfucking fed up. See, I falling down, but I always get my ass up. Cause when it's all said and done, ain't nobody pick you back up. Don't fuck around, so get your motherfucking bag up. Yeah, get that shit up, bruh.